Right then, it's time we were leaving. We spent enough time dilly dallying around in camp, and uh, it's time to time to move our asses and get on with our jobs. Oh, who do we want to take with us? Good point, Stan. Yes. You've earned your place, mate. After you beat the seven hells out of that revenant, um, Morrigan. Indeed. Because we need your healing magic and. Liliana, because I'm kind of pissed off with Alistair at the moment. Indeed. And where do we want to go? So, well, the, well, if we were hypothetically going to go look for this um, Ernavate Sacred Ashes, we need to go to Denrim first, because that's where we need to find this scholar who was paid to look into it. Um, so we'd need to be going kind of, where are we now? Redcliffe. So we'd really want to be going like that way, I think, wouldn't we, really? Because that seems shorter than going all the way around here. Um, we don't really want to go to the Frostback Mountains, because we don't want to go to Orzammar yet. I don't think Harold... It's complicated, you know, and <laughs> Harold's not really kind of given much thought to exactly how he's going to approach that little situation himself. I don't think he's keen on going back just yet. Um... There's obviously there's the the circle tower up there, um, but as a player, I'm not tremendously looking forward to it. Um, people have already played this game will know why. Um, so if we're not going to Denerim, that leaves us with only one option. We're going to see the elves. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a dwarf and everything, but uh, I, I guess dwarves really have no reason to hate elves in this fantasy universe. So. Um, and possibly Denarim after that to find this Chantry Scholar. If, if nothing's improved, you know, I mean, in the meantime, hopefully it will have. But hey, um, so yeah, I guess we're going to the Brazilian forest to find the elves. Hand over the treaty and say, Oi, you need to help us. And it should be as simple as that, I'm sure. Yeah, who am I kidding? <laughs> Oh, Christ. Okay, never mind. Something else is happening. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war, after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a... a solution. With your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin. Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Mm-hmm. Codex updated. I don't see why we should get a get a thing about that. Because we've not met the fella. Um Okay. Well this doesn't look good. Yeah. So we'll deal with the girl wardens into the tunnel. Oh boy. Arachnophobes look away. Let's see. Right, Arrow, shield wall. You know, like you're supposed to. Sten's already doing his thing. Powerful swings. Oh, apparently I've been told I shouldn't use that and I should use precise striking instead. For, at least for the meantime. Because, just to counterbalance the fact that Sten keeps missing all the time when he's trying to hit stuff. Um, which is fair enough, I suppose. Disable that for now. He's, he's, all, he's also bloody... I don't know what you what what to call that webbed, um, whatever. <sighs> right, um, mind blast. Nice. 
Is there anything here deserving of vulnerability hex? I don't know. I'm not so sure myself. I guess there's this. Yeah, let's give that a try. Let's end this. It didn't seem to work. Never mind. Try to be merciful. I see. You're drooling and say some dignity. Try not to look too incompetent. It's embarrassing. Is it just me? Yeah, this doesn't seem too much bother. Shield. Yeah, pummeling. It. Uh, whatever. The thing. Nice. Right. Okay. Ah, oh, you know what? I should have been getting Leliander backstab stuff. Can you even do that with an axe? Backstab, whatever. Um. Back hatchet, I suppose. Um. Bloody corpse with a deep mushroom. Oh. Damn and blast it all. Oh, okay. I keep forgetting we've got a rogue with us and not an Alistair. Um, right. Yes, answer is you can. Backstab. With an axe. Funnily enough. Apparently. There we Right now. There we go. Hey, that's the way you do it. I could you make you lose the use the uh, longbow, but like I said, I feel it'd be wasted. So, I have to get a pair of daggers or something. I don't know. Can I, maybe I can give her the dagger and the uh, axe. Come to think of it, why the hell not? Well, I mean, she probably takes a reduced chance to hit or something, but uh, yeah, I think I think a back backstab is an automatic hit, as far as I know. Any more for any more? Probably. Yep. You can just sort of tell sometimes, really. Alright, yep, shield wall, and... Taunt! There we go. Ah. Back, stabby, stabby, yeah, there we go. She doesn't seem to be doing any more damage than she was before, to be fair, but whatever. Well, you know, dual wielding, of course, doesn't really. W I, th I think maybe gives a gives her an attack speed bonus, perhaps. I think, and uh, yeah, dual, dual wielding, dual, dual wielding, does not really work like that in real life. But um, I could sit here all day talking about how that sort of thing is get, is inaccurate in these games, and uh, frankly, it's just something you tend you you should just come to expect, I suppose. Oh, bother. You. Uh, lightning. <laughs> Queen spider, eh? Right. Yes. This is the sort of thing you keep a rogue around for. Deal them with big, nasty boss monsters. Right. Oh, uh... Norrigan, dearest, would you... Oh, she's already healing. Good. Is she healing the right person? I'm not sure she did. Okay. Just round the back, round the back. Harold, uh, taunt it. Taunt the spider. Um. All right, never mind. We killed it anyway. <laughs> Go on, give me that mushroom. Trying to really do a bit of alchemy. I probably should have bought some potion ingredients from Bodan. Now I think about it, but never mind. Um. Yeah, I know the feeling, Morrigan. <laughs> Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe a couple of those, um, <clears throat> really game, you put one right in front of the exit, did you?
stop right there, outsider. The Dalish have camped in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere and quickly. Uh. All right, don't don't go any to threats. I am not threatening you. I am warning you. We have always defended ourselves when necessary. There's no need to defend yourself. I mean, you know harm. For now. Sometimes harm comes to those with the best of intentions. Outsiders are like that, it seems. So I will repeat myself one last time. Go back the way you came and do so quickly. <sighs> Charming. Um, I have business with you. I, I'm almost tempted to pick that just to see what happens, but I have business with your people. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? Hmm. No wonder the Dalish have such a poor reputation. <laughs> Considering what our people have suffered at the hands of outsiders, your surprise is remarkable. But our reputation is not the point. The business you claim to have with us is. I have a Grey Warden. I wish to speak to your leader. A Grey Warden? How do I know you're telling the truth? Uh. <laughs> Many people go about pretending to be Grey Wardens, do they? No, that's true. Perhaps I shall let the Keeper decide for himself. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. Hmm. I see we have guests. Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zathrian, the Keeper of this clan. Its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Uh... Call me Harold. If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. So their first reaction to trouble is to flee from it. Curious. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us and though we drove the beasts back much damage was done many of our warriors lie dying as we speak even with all our magic and healing skill we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts the blight's evil must be stopped but we are in no position to uphold our obligations i am truly sorry Bloody typical. Well, <sighs> surely I must have some warriors to spare. Not enough to make a difference for you and not simultaneously leave us defenseless. There are, there are actual werewolves in the forest. There was a time in Ferelden's history when werebeasts roamed the lands in great numbers. Spirits possessed animals and turned them into horrific monsters. The humans warred against and destroyed these creatures. No doubt their tales of those days grow ever more inaccurate. Flemeth tells tales of such a time. Packs of possessed wolves akin to abominations roaming the land. It was a terrible age, now long past. The werebeasts are not all gone from this land, and the ones that stalk the Brazilian forests are proof of this. Was there no way to help you men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, 
bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. <laughs> I'm good at non-trivial tasks, it seems. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. You said you could perhaps destroy the curse. There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. If you considered seeking outside help, I guess that's kind of what he's doing, but... Mm. From whom? The Children of the Stone? The Shemlin? Do you truly think they have time to spare for us? Mm, point taken, Ham. Um, if I help you, what will you give me? We would assist with the Blight, of course. And you would have our gratitude. Mm. Well, people could improve their attitude towards me. This attitude has been burned into our souls after long years of slavery and oppression. It is not personal, but very well. I will remind my people of the danger you will undertake on our behalf. Well, it looks like we don't have a choice. Ugh. We either go off to look for this Witherfang, or we bugger off to the other end of Ferelden to look for someone else to give us a treaty. And it will probably take roughly about the same amount of time. And uh, who's what? What do you bet when we get to somewhere else? They probably want to. They probably got some sort of problem as well. Uh, we can't just keep turning people down all the time because otherwise we're going to get nowhere. So let's okay. Bugger off into the woods. Kill some werewolves. Kill the lead werewolf. Take its heart. Let. Zathrian do his ritual. Seems fairly straightforward. Could probably even get it done within an afternoon. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll find this Witherfang for you. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Sounds like a pretty spooky place, really, doesn't it? Uh, I have some questions for you. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice Lanaya or Seyrel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. Um, how do I find Witherfang, then? Do you have any advice on that count? Watch for the white wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. Okay. Tell me more about the curse. There is not much to say. It stemmed originally from Witherfang, but now any werewolf may infect someone with it. So did all werewolves everywhere stem from Witherfang? No. The ones from this forest, however, do. So if a werewolf bites me, will I become infected? It is possible, but not guaranteed. The only way to protect against the curse is not to be bitten. Ooh. Uh, how do you know if you've been infected by the curse? You will know within a matter of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit, and most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. If that happens to you, you should seek out Witherfang even more swiftly. Your mission at that point will be rather personal. Sounds, well, that just sounds like Harold after a night of drinking. Um, <laughs> how did this curse start? That is a long tale I do not have time to tell. Ask Sayrel about it if you wish. I'm going to ask you about something else. Go on, then. 
I should go. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Create... Oh, not more... Not more gods. Ugh. Well. Ooh, Codex. Bollocks, that wasn't the Codex. Whatever. Um, what do we got? Witherfang. Keeper Zathrian. Witherfang. Witherfang is, according to the Keeper Zathrian, a wolf. He is no ordinary wolf, however. He is a wolf possessed by a powerful spirit and the source of the werewolf curse that plagues the Brazilian forest. While Witherfang is hundreds of years old and very powerful in his own right, the only way to end his curse is to cut out his heart and bring it to Zathrian. Why don't you guys just leave the bloody forest then if it's full of werewolves? You know, move to a different forest. Plenty of them about, I, I, I assume. Ugh, whatever. I'm Darren Atishan, Grey Warden. My name is Lonaya. I am Zathrian's first, what you might call an apprentice, perhaps. I've been studying under the Keeper all my life. I am a bit curious of the outside world. Do you mind if I ask you a question or two? Um... If you like, go ahead. I hear the human cities are very large. Thousands upon thousands of souls all packed together in their houses. Is that true? Well, uh... Uh... Just, Harold's not actually seen a human city. <laughs> so... Um... Why didn't you go and see a city for yourself? No, I could never leave the clan. My duties here are important to my people, and to me. No doubt, I would not even find my way. I try to imagine those of our people living in such a place, surrounded by walls of stone and indifference. It is a difficult thought. What's wrong with stone? It's very nice, it's comforting. Um... And your way is better, then? Better for our people, yes. Elves are not the same as your kind. Our souls are more... fragile. Is that the right word? <laughs> what? It is said that one day, we will have a land of our own. We Dalish gather the ancient wisdom in preparation for this. When that day comes, all elves, even those who have forgotten, will reclaim their former glory. I have one more question, though I'm not sure you can answer it. Do the humans ever regret what they did to us? I haven't a bloody clue, madam. Uh, I really can't tell. I haven't seen anything. I understand. One cannot expect to see the questions of history answered on human faces. A poet once wrote of them before the fall of the Dales. Like dragons they fly, glory upon wings. Like dragons they savage some pretty things but you don't need me to quote poetry to you forgive me perhaps you have some questions of your own yeah, it was pretty rubbish poetry as well if you ask me um, what can you tell me about Zathrian nothing that you could not ask Zathrian himself he is the keeper of this clan and has been for a very long time he is also a very good man who has lost much the Dalish are everything to him and he would do anything to protect them Lost much? What did he lost? I really shouldn't talk about that. That's something you should ask him about yourself. Yeah. Why are the Dalish so hostile? They have reason. Since the days of Arlathan, my people have been either subjugated or homeless. Um, but I'm not responsible for what's been done to the elves. Far from it. That's true. And you're not even a human, so it's doubly unfair. But fairness does not play into such feelings. No outsider has ever been good for us. You aren't hostile. I was not born here, so I see things differently from the others. Still, I do not blame them for what they feel. Perhaps this may change one day. But I believe the humans would have to take the first steps, if they are capable. Uh. What's this Arlathan you mentioned? It was our ancestral home long ago when the humans first came to these lands. We were free then and immortal. We did not know how to deal with the humans, and in the end, they turned their power against us and destroyed Arlathan. 
Our ancestors were enslaved and our culture lost forever. Does our life still exist? Not to my knowledge. According to the old tales, the human mages sank our Lathan into the ground, crushing it beneath the rock. But, uh, what, what, didn't they fight back? The Tevinter Imperium was a force to be reckoned with. It was ruled by mages with powerful blood magic. Though our Latham fought, they lost. You're immortal, then. They died, but not of an aged body as other races do. Not until the humans came. According to the legends, association with humans caused us to quicken. Our blood sped, and we began to age. So we avoided them, naturally. And then we were enslaved by them for a thousand years. And in so doing, we all were quickened permanently, and our immortality destroyed. Or so the old tales say. Weird. Okay. But you could get your lifespan back, no? In time, and with seclusion. We Dalish have lengthy lifespans, and they will get longer. Zathrian himself has lived many centuries, though that is unusual even for us. Hmm, I can see why you resent humans then. Taking away your immortality, yeah, that probably does suck. Shemlin, we call them. Quick children. I suppose it takes a certain arrogance to look upon another people as children, no? Perhaps we should be more heedful of our own role in our Lathan's loss. Even so, it was a bitter lesson to learn. One we are not grateful for. Your homeland was called the Dales, I thought, apparently. That was our second homeland. Our first was the great city of Arlathan. The Dales came when they were freed from enslavement. Elves everywhere journeyed hundreds and thousands of miles to the Dales, eager to start their lives anew. They called it the Long Walk. They reached the Dales and made it their own. And one day it was taken from us too. And you wonder why we are hostile. Mmm, we'll ask something else. Certainly. What does a Keeper do exactly? A Keeper is, first and foremost, the leader of the clan. He decides where we go and when we shall move. He's also responsible for knowing the clan's ancient lore and passing it on to the others in the clan. Without a keeper, the clan's knowledge is lost forever. So the clan protects him like no other. Tell me more about yourself. I'm hardly anyone special, I assure you. If I seem different from the rest of my clan, it's only because I was born amongst humans. I came to the Dalish at a very young age, but I've always retained my curiosity about the world I came from. How did you come to the Dalish if you were so young? My parents were servants to a human merchant whose caravan plied the southern routes. One day, bandits killed him, and my parents both. I was the only survivor, just a young girl, and the bandits took me. I was their... servant for several years. You sound very matter-of-fact about it. Do I? It's taken many years of reflection to come to terms with it, to... forgive what those men did to me. I can only imagine what would have happened had the clan not saved me from them. I owe them my life for that, and more. So they rescued you from bandits? The bandits killed a scout when the clan passed near their camp. When the clan discovered him, Zathrian came looking for his killers. He followed their tracks for almost a month, and when he finally caught up to us, he fell on the bandits like a terror. No one could stop him. I sat there, and I watched him attack them in a blur, and I reveled in every blow. When he saw me, the fury in his eyes turned to pity. He took me back to the clan, and I've been here ever since. Didn't you have a family you could have returned to? It's possible I might have had some, maybe many. Zathrian offered to take me back, but I had no idea where I was from, and I wanted to stay with a man who rescued me. The clan is my family. Any others out there? It's best they believe that little girl died with her parents. For now, the clan is all I need. My old world could not have offered me all this, and the knowledge of a keeper as well. Perhaps one day, when I am keeper, I might inquire out of curiosity. I'm not sure what lies down that road except pain, however. How did you become a keeper, then? I am not a keeper. I am Zathrian's first. 
Though because I was not born into the clan, becoming his first was very difficult. We Dalish have old traditions. The clans come from the ranks of the nobility that once ruled the Dales, you see. The keepers of those old clans have the strongest and purest blood that reaches back to the days of Arlathan. I had to compete against the other candidates for first, to be better than them in everything, simply because I was not of the old blood. I see. Um, do they resent your success? No. Zathrian told me that time would take away their prejudices, and it did. They became used to me. The clan has placed great trust in me. One day, I will lead them and be the one who secures our future. I should go. As you wish. Darth Shirel. Hmm. I'll, oh, God. No, I'm not going to read a codex now. Maybe next time. Um, that was a lengthier conversation than I thought it would be. Bloody hell. Um... Yes. I must say, I thought the Dalish would be much harder to find. Do you think this clan let us find them? Doesn't sound like they like they did. Um. Yes, not all of that relevant information to the quest and all that, but I suppose. You know, I, I suppose Harold sees he's now up here on the surface. I don't see why he wouldn't be curious to find out about all the various different peoples that live around up here and stuff. You know, okay, he's got a quest to do and all that sort of thing, and yeah, that takes priority. But also, you know, he's a bit of a tourist, isn't he, really? The surface world's still a bit new and bizarre to him. Um, hello. Uh, hello? Why are you cringing? Speak up. I, uh, that is, we, we uh... Are you daft? What's the matter? I, I, I am, I am sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend you in, in uh, any way. You have a name, I assume. I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. So be one and stop wishing for it. I, never mind. Just go away and leave me alone. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Um, hi. I can't even talk to you. Wow, okay. Hi. So you're the Grey Warden who was supposed to save us? I never thought an outsider would ever do anything for us. Hmm. Anathara, Grey Warden. And gobbledygook to you too, sir. Yes. No one else to talk to. Yeah, you know, because we're here, we might as well find out about them and stuff. You know, even if a lot of it is complete rubbish. Oh, souls are more fragile than your... Yeah, whatever. Pfft. Honestly. 